Alright guys, this one's called Don't Buy a House. It just popped up on my recommended. And uh, I'm... Uh, it caught my eye. I'm interested. Who is this YouTuber? Now... He also uploaded a video saying... Uh, you know, the recession's coming, so I don't know what kind of video this is. Let's check it out. The U.S. housing market is in the middle of its sixth major downturn. Bro, you said a recession is coming, bro? No, man. No. Bro, I've been experiencing recession. <laughs> Feels like I've been experiencing recession, guys, in my life. And he said it's coming. It's coming more. Oh, my gosh. Since the late 1960s. Home prices are declining in 75% of major cities, with many areas posting declines for six or six. Are you serious? Like, finally, guys? After it's been, like, so freaking high recently? You know what I mean? Seven consecutive. How come? As if only dead to zero, bro, but now it's... And then it just... What do you mean by zero? Consecutive months. In this video, we'll look at the distribution of home price declines, and show where home prices have fallen the most and where home prices have held up. All right, guys. So the best, this is the best places to buy homes, I guess. I don't know. The best. Okay, okay. This guy did the research, man. This is what I'm interested in, in case I ever buy a home. Guys, we're trying to just get like over $100, uh, over like $300 a month for past, uh, what is it? Basically, uh, 10 months, and we have not really did that yet. So we're not, we're not that close to buying a home. But, hey, maybe in the future, right guys? Maybe in the future. Let me log in and escape. <clears throat> we'll also compare the depth and duration of this home price downturn to declines of the past to see how it stacks up. The most time-tested and reliable measure of home prices is the Case-Shiller Home Price Index. Guys, I just want to see the average price of a home. He just he's giving me tons of um tons of graphs, which I don't know mean mean, bro. Like, what does he mean? What does all this stuff mean, bro? The Case Shiller Home Price Index tells us that home prices at the national level have started to decline, with a peak in the summer of 2022. Home well, well, even though there's inflation, the 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 prices of homes go down. Since when, bro? Actually, what? I mean, uh, guys, you think it'll go down like this previous time it went down in 2005? That was like when the recession happened, right, guys? Now, even though there might be a recession or something, it doesn't mean everybody gets rich or gets poor, you know? People still earn income if they, you know, find the right way to earn income. Hopefully, hopefully me being one of them. Home prices don't normally decline in nominal terms, and later in the video, we'll look at real or inflation-adjusted home prices, which is a much better method for comparing home prices across history. This chart shows that in the last 30 years, home prices have only declined three times. There was a 2% decline in the 1990... Dang, bro. Only three times, man. Pretty soon, millions are going to be worth, like... Pretty soon we'll get me earning a million dollars a year is just like a minimum wage or something. Imagine recession and nearly a 30% decline around the 2008 recession. Home prices didn't drop at all in the 2001 recession. Home prices today have declined about 3% nationally from the peak in the summer of 2022. But as we know, real estate is regional. Some areas have declined more than 3% and some areas are still closer to their peak levels. In addition to the magnitude or depth of the home price decline, another way to measure the correction is based on time or how long has the correction lasted. After the 1990 recession, even though home prices only fell by about 2%, it took 37 months for home prices to make a new peak. Bro. Can't believe it, bro. I'm just in awe about how it's doing that with the recession still going on. I mean, with the inflation, rather. Because, uh, you know, just 50 years ago, stuff that's a dollar would... Is, a dollar might, be, might have been worth like $10 now, man. But the prices of homes are crashing a little. 
The 2000s I doubt, I doubt they'll keep crashing though, right? The recession didn't see any decline in home prices, but the 2008 recession saw home prices crash 30% and it took 116 months to reach a new peak. Today, home prices peaked about eight months ago, but this data is slightly delayed, so the real number is closer to 10 or 11 months, but the declines are still mild on a national average in terms of the magnitude. The Case-Shiller data publishes home prices for 20 major cities, so we can measure how many cities are showing negative home price growth on a rolling six-month basis. In the 1990 recession, even though home prices only declined about 2% on average, the declines lasted for 37 months and impacted 74% wow. of cities. Dang, bro. I mean, it's just the de decline of ho houses, though. I mean... The 2008 recession was very large in terms of magnitude, falling 30%. It was very long in terms of duration, taking 116 months to make a new peak, and it impacted 100% of cities. We are clearly in the middle of another home price downturn, since the declines have been about... I hope he's not telling me, like, super bad news will happen, guys. I'm not ready for another recession. Unless I'm making money, man. And I've been trying to make money for a while, bro. I've been broke quite a quite a bit. Basically all of 20... So, I mean, not, not all of 2023, because I'm finally, you know, making YouTube money, but... We, 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 need, to, we need to get that money. 3% from the peak, the duration has lasted 10 or 11 months, and 75% of cities are showing declining home price growth. We can debate the magnitude, and in the next section, we'll compare this home price decline across a larger history. But first, we have to look at the dispersion of home price declines and see where home prices are falling the most and where home prices have held up the best, because the conversation about real estate is very divided. Some people think that home prices in their city are falling, while others have barely seen a correction. And this data I just don't understand what the percentages mean still guys I mean is that the percent of deaths and oh to downturn okay okay it's just like, he shows graph after graph I'm like yo what what does this mean bro he shows them so quickly shows why both of these cases are true this chart shows the depth and duration of the home price downturn in the 20 major cities across the country the left axis measures the percentage decline from the peak and the bottom axis measures the duration of the home price declines. The upper left shows the areas that have been least affected, and the bottom right shows where the housing downturn is hitting the hardest. Cleveland, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, and Charlotte have seen virtually no correction at all, with home prices within 1 or 2% from their peak levels and no consistent declines. On the other extreme, San Francisco and Seattle have seen price declines of almost 50. Are San Francisco prices uh, like ridiculously overpriced, just like LA prices? 15% in less than a year. This is on par with 2008 type declines. In the middle, we see cities like Dallas, Denver, Phoenix, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and Portland, where there has been a clear shift and home prices have fallen about 6 to 10%. So there is no doubt that based on depth, duration, and dispersion, that the U.S. nationally is in a home price downturn. Depending on the location, the downturn is anywhere from non-existent to severe, with the national average so far in a moderate correction. But how does this housing downturn compare to a longer history? If we want to compare housing cycles across a longer period of time, we have to look at home prices in real terms or adjusted for inflation. K Schiller. What is K Schiller, guys? I'm sorry. I'm not the best. I'm not a market analyzer like this. This YouTuber seems to be, guys. It's pretty hard for me to, like, uh, if I'm just jumping on board to the channel, which he, you know, he has a niche. He has a niche, and it's it's hard for me to like copperhead, bro, because you know he's kind of catering to the niche right here. Just like if I were to watch somebody like make a commentary on a new video. Or a new, like a new game and I would watch it without playing the game or something. I would not know much. But yeah, it's fine. I'm trying to I'm trying to follow along basically. 
There are a few reasons why looking at real or inflation-adjusted home prices is appropriate. Housing is very important for the wealth effect. When home prices rise, people feel wealthier, and it is very common to refinance and pull... Yeah, people feel wealthier, except the people that don't own homes and they're trying to buy a home, right guys? Pull equity out of a property to use on consumption or more real estate assets. This only works if the home price is rising in real terms, or else the cash that you pull out of the home can't support the consumption of other goods that are rising even faster in price. During periods of high inflation like the 1970s, home prices may rise in nominal terms but fall sharply in real terms. When we look at real home prices, we can see that prices generally decline around recessions. This makes sense. The duration of the correction and the magnitude of the corrections vary, but they are generally centered around recessionary periods. Real home prices were more stable in the four decades from 1960 through 2000 before taking on what can only be described as boom-bust type growth, rising 75% from 1990. I mean, they say mon money printing doesn't, uh, doesn't cause inflation. I... I care to disagree. 27 through 2006 and rising 78% from 2012 through 2022. Real home prices peaked on a national level in May 2022. This peak is earlier for some cities like San Francisco and later for places like Miami, but in real terms, home prices have peaked everywhere. And at this point, we're only going to refer to the national average. The U.S. housing market has had six major downturns since the 1960s. Real home prices declined around all the recession periods except 2001 and the COVID recession. Real home prices have declined about 6% since May of 2022. In terms of duration, during past housing downturns, real home prices declined for 33 to 70 months, with the ex Yeah, supermarket analytics, bro, it's like... Someone's you know, they're the one getting the the the, the three hundred thousand views though. Exception of two thousand. And I do I do like that he's actually promo providing commentary for it, which saw no declines at all, not even in real terms. The other important point is that home prices tend to bottom at the end of the recession or after the recession. Home prices are a slow moving, lagging indicator with a full housing cycle often taking three to five years. So in the six major housing downturns, including the extreme 2008 scenario and the no decline 2000 scenario, the average recession brings a real home price decline of roughly 12%, with declines that last for 37 months. Currently, home prices have declined for six consecutive months and are about 6% from the peak in real terms, but the economic downturn and most of the recession are still in front of us, so declines will likely continue and reach at least the historical averages. Leading indicators of real home price growth are still moving to the downside, something we cover in our quarterly real estate deep dive report. Yeah, guys, this is a... Hey, if you need anybody to analyze graphs, just watch this YouTuber. I'll link them in below, guys. I'm sorry, so I can't follow on with the, with the information that well. It's just, you know... But he's making a, a, a decent point here. That I don't... You know what I mean? Summary, the U.S. housing market is in the middle of an ongoing downturn, with prices declining in 75% of cities. Dang. The declines are not evenly distributed. Some cities are showing substantial declines before any significant crack in the labor market, which is concerning, but some cities have only seen the momentum slow down. Without That's good. So it's hardly a decline. Well, if I need a... If, I, hey, if I'm ever going to buy a home... I'll probably be making enough money to not worry about, you know, how much I'm spending for it. Because homes are pretty expensive, right guys? Without any sizable reductions in price yet. Like, if I, Where... if I have steady income and I, I can afford a home, I'll be so happy. And, you know, I'll have a home finally, dude. It's like, yo. The housing market bottoms in relation to past... Like, literally one of my dream things to do economic downturns remains an open question, but there is no debate that the market hit a clear peak in 2022 and the broad national momentum remains to the downside.
guys. Let's look at a few comments here. Biggest mistake was not buying a home in 2008 when I was 8 years old. <laughs> I know, right? And as real estate agent, it's a bummer right? that I need a housing crash to happen in order to afford a home. You know, I keep seeing back in back in the day, I, I, I look at like the newspaper or something and like the media would glorify uh, like somebody that was like very young and that wanted to be a business person. Which is good because you know they're making tons of money. I, I wish I started early at, at, at trying to make a, a ton of money, but I wonder if there's anyone that like made enough to buy a house by the time they turned eight, somehow. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe not. I, I don't know, guys. I don't look into it. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out, everyone. Check out EBP research in the description and later, guys. Pretty cool niche to get into, by the way. This guy is getting tons of money doing it. Like, it's a fairly simple video, but that's the power of being in in a niche, you know. Later, guys.